My name is Claire and I am here to teach a gentle and grounding yoga class. So what you'll need for class is a nice open space, maybe a blanket, maybe a pillow. Um, and also if you have something, I'm gonna use a yoga strap, but if you have a, a belt or an old necktie, this will work just as well. So if you wanna pause the video, and get the props you'll need and grab sort of a strap or belt like object and then we'll get started. So to start we'll come to a comfortable seat. I'm sitting in Viryasana hero seat but if you're more comfortable you can sit cross-legged, you can sit with your legs out in front of you, wherever you feel is comfortable and cozy. And as you sit, just notice all the places on your body that's touching the earth. Begin to rub your hands together, create some warmth, create some friction. And then very gently, as you feel a little bit more friction develop, release and place your hands on your heart. Allow the eyes to close. And just tune in to your natural breath. Notice where the breath is falling in the body. Notice if you're breathing through your mouth or your nose. Notice if you can feel your heartbeat. Maybe there's sounds in the room or your building or on your street. Just begin to settle in to a sense of awareness in the present moment and throughout practice we'll focus on the concept of surrendering so a lot of times when we're in difficult positions life might throw us curveballs we work really hard to try to keep control of the situation keep control of our emotions keep control of our schedules and there's actually a lot of power and release in just being able to surrender. To just know what will happen will happen. And that we're safe here in our own bodies. So we get to fill up the belly with air and breath, fill up the chest, and we'll release an open mouth sigh everything squeezes in. Fill the belly, fill the chest, and open mouth sigh. One more, and on this time we'll imagine drawing everything that feels like it's pulling and stressing us into our lungs. So filling the lungs up, and on the exhale, imagine releasing all of those stresses and those worries out the mouth. Slowly begin to release the hands and we'll just take some gentle shoulder rolls. So shrug the shoulders up to the ears and then release down the back. Shoulder blades can melt. Inhale, lift up and exhale, release down, inhaling up and exhaling down. Good, now keep going with your own pace. And then begin to change directions, so inhaling back, up, exhaling down. Breath. 
begin to close the eyes if they're not closed. And this movement isn't gonna look beautiful, but you'll just begin to open the jaw and kind of stretch out the jaw muscles that you use for chewing and talking. And sometimes we clench, so just opening up and release back to center. Begin to drop the left ear to the left shoulder, opening up the neck. Play with the tilt of your chin, maybe tilt it up, maybe tilt it down. Just asking your neck, where do you want a little more stretch? Pause here. And if it feels safe and good, you can walk the opposite fingertips away. Breathing into the space on the neck. And then slowly begin to rise all the way up. Maybe take a shoulder roll. And release opposite ear to opposite shoulder. And tiptoe fingertips away. Play with the tilt of the chin. And then slowly come back to center. You can stay seated as you are, or you can adjust again if you want to sit on a pillow, that's fine, or keep the knees bent. I'm going to just adjust a little bit. And then we'll slowly inhale the arms all the way up overhead. And exhale down the midline. Inhale, arms all the way up. And then exhale, twist to the right. Gaze comes over the shoulder. If your eyes are open, see if you can look into this. Allow the spine to grow nice and tall. And then inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. Inhale, all the way up, and then exhale, twist, opposite side. Check in with your breath here. And we'll begin to flow. So inhale up, exhale, twist. Inhaling up, exhale, twist. Inhale all the way up, exhale, twist. Flow with your breath. One more round. And then draw the palms down the midline. <sighs> Inhale, arms float up. This time, plant one palm on the earth and arc over the side. Take a few breaths. And then inhale, float up. Exhale, arc the opposite way. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, arc. We'll flow 
as we were before. Inhaling up, exhale, arc. If there's any spaces that you feel you want to pause in, want to explore the stretch and the range of motion, feel free. This is your practice. We'll do one more round. Come back to center. And then we'll just do some seated cat-cow movements. So cat-cow would be bringing your belly forward and back arch up, almost sideways so you can see a little better. And then on the exhale, arch the back. Inhale, belly through, gaze lifts. Exhale, back arches. What we're doing is we're moving the spine in every direction that it moves in before we move into deeper yoga poses. That way we're keeping our spine safe by warming it up, by twisting it, by doing lateral bends. Good, so come back to center, spine will lift. Nice and tall, if your legs are crossed, you can cross them the opposite way. Feel free to shift around too. And we'll draw our arms to a T. And then very gently, we'll just start making some little circles. And then slowly the circles will grow a little bit bigger. Just creating a little warmth. If you notice your shoulder popping, see if you can take an alternative route with your arms as you do these arm circles so it doesn't pop. Going big, follow the breath, and then let's switch directions and spiral our way back in, getting smaller and smaller. And then you can come back to center. Pause for a moment. Notice if you created any warmth. And perhaps that warmth is right in the heart, right where we started. Try to surrender control and just allow yourself to be present in this moment. We'll begin to take our strap or belt or necktie. I'll turn around so you can see a little better. So you'll take your strap and you'll drape it over one shoulder. And on the inhale, you'll float the arm up to the sky. Exhale, reach for the strap. Inhale, opposite arm comes and clasps the strap. And then just begin to open up. Breathe here. And slowly release, take a shoulder roll, and then you can come across the opposite shoulder, 
Inhale, opposite arm rises and grasps. Exhale, the other one. You might notice a difference between your dominant and non-dominant hands. You can see if you can walk your fingers a little closer. Three more breaths. And slowly release. You can set the strap aside. We'll come to hands and knees. And we'll just do a few more cat cows. So this time on our hands and knees, knees can come below the hips, toes can remain tucked or untucked. Palms spread out wide on the mat. And then inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, arch the spine. Inhale, maybe your eyes and the elbows travel. Exhale, inhale. Hello, Miso. Exhale. And then you can walk the palms forward by one hand space and then just begin to take some hip circles. So leaning forward and then sinking your body back and then scooping the hips around. Follow the breath. Inhaling up and exhaling down. And then we'll begin to switch sides. Or sides, I mean directions. Maybe going counterclockwise. And then slowly allow your hips to sink back in space. Crown of the head can come to the floor, child's pose, balasana. You can untuck the toes and just surrender the weight of the body to the floor. Maybe rock the forehead side to side. Massage out your third eye right between the eyebrows. And then root down into the hands, tuck the toes, and begin to lift the hip bones back in space, a downward facing dog. You can keep the knees bent. And then just begin to work into the calves a little bit, rocking back and forth. And we'll begin to follow the breath a little. Begin to exhale, drop the knees, and exhale all the way back to child's pose. Inhale to table, exhale, downward facing dog. Take an inhale, and then exhale all the way down. Notice if you're clenching your jaw. See if you can release any tension as you follow your breath. Come to tabletop and we'll just do a little bit of core activation. Keep your toes tucked and then just draw the knees off the floor. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Play with the tilt of your hips. Good. Take one breath in, one big breath out 
and drop the knees again. Come to a seat. And then we'll begin to come up onto our knees, tuck the toes again, and then just begin to sit yourself back, pouring a little bit of weight onto the heels and stretching out the plantar fascia of the feet. If you're like me, I tend to like to buy really cute shoes that don't make my feet feel great. So a stretch like this is always really nice just to give my feet a little bit of love. This can feel like a lot, so always feel like you can back off. We'll take three breaths. See if you can melt the shoulders down the spine a little bit more. Good, and now rock forward and we'll just slap the feet on top of the mat. It's relaxing them a little bit. Begin to swing the legs around and we'll find ourselves in Dandasana staff pose. So your knees don't have to be flat and extended here if they can't. Feel free to take your blanket, you can roll it up, place it under your knees. You could also sit on your blanket, get a little elevation going. Make sure to bring the ground to you, wherever you are. You know, in yoga, you don't have to have this like bendy, flexible body. You're just trying to meet your body where it is. It's called yoga practice, not yoga perfect. So wherever you are, allow the feet to extend long. Heels are active. Move the fleshy parts of the legs away and just allow the spine to grow long. Take a deep breath here. Maybe arms float up high. Then take your strap, you can wrap the strap around the feet and just begin to keep the heart strong and straight, just begin to fold forward just a little, just enough to feel a little activation. Begin to release. You can put your strap aside. We'll use it one more time during practice. And then take a bend in the knee. I'll turn around so you can see. Bending the knees, you'll begin to lace one knee under the other. This might not be available, so even if you just extend one leg and have one bend, that's fine. So just bending a knee under the other. And then see if you can twist the body towards that bent knee. If you are pregnant or if it just doesn't work for you to bend towards the knee, you can also bend outwards. Just finding a nice twist in the torso. Working the twist from the upper torso and looking over the shoulder. And then slowly unwind all the way back to center. Bring your knees out and then lace the opposite leg through. 
get nice and tall. And then twist whichever way you twisted before, inwards or outwards, and look over the shoulder. Maybe close the eyes and just go inside. Begin to unfurl, come back to center. We'll come back up on our knees. So you're in a kneeling position. Always option to fold your mat in half or place a blanket under the knees if you need a little padding. And then begin to step out one leg. I'll actually set this aside so you can see me better. Out to the side. You can always step it a little bit forward or back, depending on what you need. And then begin to glide the body down that side leg for gate pose. Inhale all the way up. And then exhale, draw the leg in. Inhale, step opposite leg out. And then exhale, glide the palm. Open up the opposite way. Inhale up. And then exhale, draw the feet in. You can begin to slide onto your seat and we'll make our way onto our backs. If you would like a little bit more core work, you can keep the feet landed and grounded and then just slowly using the muscles of the abdomen, release yourself onto the floor. Sometimes it's okay to just flop down on the floor too, or get down any way you like. Take a moment as you arrive here. Maybe pause. Notice the weight of the body pressing onto the mat. And just begin to hug the feet into the chest. Maybe rock side to side or take the legs in a nice arch. And this will massage out the low back a little bit. Now keep the knees bent. And we'll move through a little bit of a bridge flow. So bending the knees, draw the arms to the side and just be really delicate with your neck in this pose. On the inhale, Allow your glutes and your back body to become active to lift the hips up. Notice the breathing in the belly. And then we'll exhale all the way back down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time. And then this time we'll inhale up. We'll allow our arms to travel overhead. Exhale down, arms float with the spine. Inhale up, exhale down, inhaling up, and exhale down. We'll do this two more times. Inhale up,
slowly come back to center. You can draw your legs up so that are, they're at a 90 degree angle. And we'll just begin to do a couple toe touches. So inhaling and exhaling one toe down and then the opposite. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up. As you're doing this, draw the belly button towards the spine. One more on each side. Awesome. And then slowly release the feet towards the floor. Begin to bend your knee and draw it across the other one as if you're crossing your legs. And then hug that foot up towards you for a figure four. It might be enough on the hip to just hold here. You can always work to bring it closer to you. While you're here, maybe do some little rocking side to side. Notice what pieces of the body need more nourishment. Maybe pause. Three breaths. And then slowly release to the floor. Move to the opposite side. And then hugging that leg. Soften the muscles of the face. Begin to release, have your strap handy, and we'll take the strap around one foot, and then reach that foot up to the sky. Once you're up here, maybe take some circles. It's okay if your knee is bent. Okay, if your knee is down here, wherever you're feeling sensation. I like to make shapes here, little circles or spirals. slowly keeping your hips rooted to the mat begin to open the foot out to the side holding onto the strap stay active in the ankle And then inhale all the way up. And then exhale, come across the other side of the body with the leg. Maybe take some micro movements. Notice where your breath is falling.
inhale back to center. Remove the strap and just release your leg to the earth. We'll pause for a moment. And I always think it's so interesting to feel how much longer that first leg feels than the second one when you do one at a time. Begin to lace the strap over whatever leg you didn't do the first time. And begin to inhale that leg up to the ceiling. Take your movements here. Maybe close the eyes. Notice where the body is pressed into the earth. And slowly begin to open that leg out to the side. And then begin to inhale the leg all the way up. And then exhale across the side body. Draw that leg all the way up and move the strap out of the way and then slowly bring yourself to the floor. Take a bend in the knees and then scooch your hips over a little bit to the right and allow your legs to drop to the left. Arms can come out to the side and gaze if it's comfortable can come over the right shoulder. For a nice supine twist, eyes close, find your breath, maybe notice the temperature of the air on the skin, notice any sounds, and see where you can soften. Inhale the legs up, gaze comes up, and then exhale, shift the hips to the left this time, and allow the knees to drop to the right. Gaze can come over the opposite shoulder. Slowly come back to center and we'll begin to set up for Shavasana. Shavasana is a few minutes after practice where we find stillness 
laying on the floor or the mat, and just allowing the benefits of practice to sink in. So you can get comfortable, maybe grab a blanket, and just allow yourself to surrender into the mat, into the earth, allowing the mind to just follow the breath and come into the body. If the mind begins to drift and you find yourself thinking, just draw yourself back without any judgment. I'll leave you here to take Shavasana. You can pause and meditate as long as you like. And I want to thank you for practicing with me. May you find peace. Namaste.